What's good, everybody? Back once again. And here we go for number two in a row for them Celtics. Uh, I was like, yeah, man, it's so crazy what happened when it seemed like you at least try to, you know, become your full potential. Um, because that's all it really was in this game. It really just, I mean, as for, I mean, with the last couple games, it really just is just like a switch of just trying more than anything. Like, it, like, they came in with, like, they came in quick. I was like, they, they were they able to disrupt them a bit. They went to the hole a couple times. I was like, they passed the ball, and they got their threes to knock down. Oh, man, it's, like, crazy that. I was like, I feel like if you watch basketball just a little bit, everything I said you probably would have said, too, which sort of, you know, makes it even more funny that, you know, now that, you know, they put, them, put the games together, everybody's like, oh, Missoula, I guess he is like an all right because I'm like, N -n -n -n, you don't know that. You don't know that. You All you really got from this is that it was just like, yo, y'all tired of being embarrassed? Y'all at least want to, like, sh like, show a good face or something? How about we win the game here? That's all it really was. Um... Uh, I was like, I, I felt like, I felt like the, the, what they really did a good job of more so than, of course, knocking down the shots and stuff like that was ball movement um, because it wasn't just strict. I mean, yes, you know, like yes, I mean, it was, it wasn't, you know, Tatum and Brown can sort of do that, but it wasn't strictly ISO. You know, like a lot of things, like uh, like especially like crushing the zone, they really did a lot of penetrations and got the kick out. Uh, I was like smart and white. Uh, you got them shooting like crazy. I mean, everybody sort of hit shots, but they they were sort of like the main ones. I was like Brown sort of got himself back to you know like how we sort of know of uh, Jalen Brown, but I was like and Tatum as well too. But guess what? They also win in the paint, and it's so weird with like you know like cause they're not cause so like you know like Tatum and uh, Tatum and Brown can hit three-point shot. They like to shoot three-point shot, but they're not three-point shooters. Uh, like, they, like they're, get their rhythm, they hide, you know, they just got so much talent, you know, where it's like, you know, like white three-point shooter, that's what you're really going to get out of him more so than anything. Marcus Smart, even though he's, he, I wouldn't call him that, but he, like, that's more, he's, he's more wanting to take those, so he's more of that mold. And like somebody who gets inside, but I was like, he even did some of that today. Uh, I was like, they had like, I think like four or five people that just like had like over 15 points or something like that. And it really, I was like, bam, didn't show up. Like, and like, really nobody showed up. Jimmy Butler, the last couple games, haven't even looked like Jimmy Butler. And, you know, I was like, I, they can't really afford for that, especially with like Gabe Benson being out. Uh, they, I was like, bam, try to get going a little bit in the third, but then it's really too late. Um, yeah, no, there was, there was, there's no rhythm. It just seemed like, and it was just like, it wasn't, I was like, there were just so many turnovers that also too, that I don't even know what you can really expect from this game. Just because when you turn the ball over at that high of a rate, your, your, your offense doesn't get set. You're giving up transitional buckets, even at an even higher rate because, now there's definitely nobody really to stop the other on the other end, and it's just like it just like the floodgates is open at that point. But no, I was like it. This it really was just a odd heat not bringing it true. Like it almost it almost seemed like the last couple games that was like, and what and sort of what they get down to is sort of like it sort of seemed like they didn't even feel like climbing out of like somehow that they do it's like it's like they gave it a good try and they're like. All right, it just ain't happening. We're just gonna get them at the other game, and the scary, the scary thing in, about the whole th about this series is that, to me, I was like different than like the Lakers and the Nuggets. That I felt like the Lakers really hit their ceiling. Like they was they sort of were giving the Nuggets all they got, even though they wasn't hitting on all cylinders of like all their players. But you could tell like. That's really about it of what they got, and it, once they didn't get those couple games, it was sort of it because everybody just so winded and tired, and and it just like their luck. Just, it seemed like their luck just ran out. The Celtics, it's like they luck ain't even real, really began because they just like man that 
the scary thing is, is that if they just decide to play a little bit, just a little bit, that their talent is so good that it could just hit you like how it hit, did here, and you're just down 20, and you just can't crawl like crawl your way back. Like you might, yeah, you. Can, I'm like they'll stop a little bit and you'll score, but you can't. But it's like if you trade in basket, you, they still gonna be able to get you. And yes, that may sound like very simple when they're up like that much, but I'm saying like they're still they still on rhythm. So even if you even if you might get two or three stops, they hit a three, then it's almost feel like <sighs> back again. So and. You know, and the thing is, like, if, at the beginning of the series, I said I picked the Heat to win because, you know, I was like, because the Celtics, you get this too much. Whereas, like, the Heat, you, you normally get, like, a high in his grind. And it's like, but they haven't been that. And I could get, I was like, I would get it if, like, they, they're trying hard and you just like, dang, this is a bunch of missed shots. They just ain't missing. Or them dude fell back to earth, but you could tell they still trying hard. This sort of was like, oh, wow. Things them went reverse of who's trying hard and who's not. Um, and to be honest, I I was like, against the Nugget, I feel like if the Celtics are right, the Celtics got the best, the better of the teams to face the Nuggets. But you want the intensity and like the and like the vigor and all that other you know whatever where you want to use from the Heat face the Nuggets, but the way the Nuggets also are, then you just feel like, yeah, but you see how it is with the Celtics, and it's just like, it's like, they're just trying, they're not even like, put on a clinic, they're just trying, it feels that way, that against the Nuggets, it might be the same thing, and I was like, and I, don't, I was like, I still think Jim Butler still has it in them, they're going back to Miami, but I also wonder how much has everybody else just sort of just you know, and in this situation, I like seeing this sort of the lack of game is sort of what showed of why needing hero and either to a less degree Victor of just like someone who can create their own bucket and create their own offense without. And it's like, yeah, because I was like, Caleb Martin can get his get his own shot. Gabe Vincent can get his own shot. Duncan can get his own shot. But whereas Hero is like, nah, he gonna get his, he gonna get his shot, he gonna shoot his shot. Uh, Victor, not what he used to be, but there's still is in there where he has spurts. And so that's that's sort of what you see with this. And I was like, but I do think having Gabe did not help because that put more on Kyle Lowry to do the point and all that other stuff to score and to get everything going and whatnot. They did. I was like, Highsmith did play really well in the game, and so I was like, that expect that to probably get like some better looks going forward. And I think going that game, I feel like Jimmy's gonna be more aggressive. I think after this couple times, like, all right, fine, I'll go out here and try to put on the cape again. Um, Cause I was like, I feel like he got to get going, and not necessarily score, but he has to get going. Cause he was he was getting his shot blocked a couple of times. He was missing tips. All that stuff that was working very much in the first couple games have not really been working for Jimmy in the last couple games. And so he just got to get back on point with his stuff. And I think they'll be able to get things going. God, it's going to be crazy if they win in that game. God, I was like, we're going to do this. this it's like, with a self, you know, I don't know. It's, gonna, it's just going to be wild. It's going to be crazy. And it, it sort of sucks because I look at it. There hadn't really been any any – Good games, and I'm where I'm like, man, I sort of, I mean, on this side of where I'm like, man, the playoffs are pretty much ending, and we're not getting any good games to really do anything about, and that's sort of disappointing, and it's also disappointing, too, that I'm like, ah, the TNT crew is about to be done as well, too, because that's the only thing I also stay up for. Anyway, well, if you liked any of the recap, I appreciate it. Thanks. If not, hey, maybe next time. But until then, peace. I'm out.